The Red Lake Band of Chippewa Indians wants their community to be proud of where they come from. It's Ojibwe language and culture camp, teaches about their native history and identity. Heidi Clotter has the story. A camp that emerges children and young adults between the ages of 6 to 18 into their traditions and history is what the Ojibwe language and culture camp is all about. In its fifth year, the camp is put on by the Red Lake Band of Chippewa Indians and kicked off at the Panema Roundhouse. It's about teaching the kids who they are, getting them connected with all the things that help them become wonderful, strong, resilient people. Fifty kids showed up on day one. During the three-day camp, teachings include nature walks, creating medicine pouches, drumsticks, and learning the language. Giggle. What is that? Stop it. There's also time for the fun stuff. Kids play lacrosse, one of the activities the Anishinaabe people played. Here they play a moccasin game where they try to find the marked marble and win the most sticks. We get to um, play stuff and we get to make drumsticks and it's fun. Elders play a major role in the culture, consider them human dictionaries. Teachers come to them to learn how to say certain words to teach them to the young children. They're known as grandmas and called by their Indian names, like Grandma Jawin, who says the Ojibwe language is lost. And it's very important for the kids to learn and to carry it uh, for us. Uh, when we're not, we're, when we're gone. Campers identify with their history, something that can be passed on for years to come. So whenever we get older, we can tell our kids about our Native American culture. We always talk about the seven teachings, you know, bravery, honesty, humility, love, respect, truth, and wisdom. You know, those are the things that we try to pass on to them. The hope is that they learn what it means to be from Red Lake and be Ojibwe. In Panema, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. The free camp continues on Thursday from 9 to 6. Other activities as part of the camp include canoeing and plant identification. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.